Hey, it's Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Today was Thursday, January 11th, 2018. Yes, I stopped the bleeding today, even if it was a couple of ticks. Um, I finished up, I think, seven ticks on the trading session. Uh, after being down 29, I had uh, my, my big win of the day. Since I missed, hindsight's always a winner, right? Hindsight is like 2020. You can sit back and you can second guess yourself. Um, I obviously know that I'm a good short side trader. Um, I'm better than 95% of the traders trading in the market if it market's coming down. But I suck at the long side. Did I see the long signal? Well, I'm thinking in my head that where I believe is a good place to exit the short might be a great place to be reversing and, and moving the, well, not reversing right away, but at least thinking in my head, hey, this isn't working out. And I actually have a trading strategy based upon that. I call it the Bugs Bunny. If you can't beat them, join them. That's what the, the, the theory is behind Bugs Bunny. That's why I put it in place to start with was, was to hopefully allow myself the ability to say, you know what, I'm wrong this way. Let's go the other direction. Uh, and, you know, where was that level today that, could have turned around and decided to go the other direction it was around the 6395 to 6404 level uh, on the crude oil market today. So that was the range 6395 to 6, 6404. That's when I was exiting my shorts. It would have been a great place today to get long the market as uh, I'm recording this video. I believe the high was at 77. 60, 64, 77, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 64, 77 as I'm, I'm, I'm recording this video. But I did catch a short, and where did I find value? I found uh, Wyckoff stopping volume today, uh, and it was located at that same level. I was uh, I got short at, at right at 902 almost 903 it was 902.55 seconds of almost into the 903 a.m. Central Standard Time uh, I got short at 6469 it, it pretty much topped it, boo -doo -doo -doo, there's a lot of activity right in that area right at the 902 903 level there's a bam 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 bam, bam. and then I was I I, I, I took that signal based upon the market running uh, where I believe was going to be a top at that point in time. I kind of talked about it in the video after I would say it's probably after the 35 minute mark if you go look at the uh, day trading video. Um, one of the things I did read is that maybe one of the issues I'm having is with my mouse is that since it's not hardwired it might be interfering with some signals around you know because we're all connected right well a lot of us some of us are connected more than we should be but but we're all connected and I mean I, my kids my kids got phones my wife's got a phone I got a new phone um, you know it, it seemed to be acting up ever since the new year um, who knows but I'm going to get myself um, a hardwired my, my mouse basically a, 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 a mouse with a cord and plug it into the back of my trading computer and hopefully that will eliminate uh, the interference. I'm hoping it's just uh, a signal interference right now between uh, something. Who knows what, what it is right now, but you know maybe that will cause or, or solve the problem right now. My winning trade was um, uh, I took 64.69 to 64.30. Uh, was able to win seven ticks overall net. Uh, so it was a 3P move. It was a, a 3P move based upon 
a perceived top. And I, I mean, when I say that the GAN signal at that point in time is the top, I don't necessarily mean that it's the top of the market. The market can go wherever it wants to go. It just was a good stopping point at that point in time. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that 64.77, that's as high as the market's going to go. I don't believe that we've had enough uh, uh, blood in the water yet on the short side to stop the long side movement right now. So I came in today thinking today was going to be a really nice trading on the short side. I thought that we were going to reverse and head down to around the 62 and a half level today and it went the other direction. So yeah, it went the direction. I just, my thinking was incorrect in, in how, I don't know. It, my bias is obviously short side. I'm going to catch those shorts when they come along. Uh, I just, if I can learn to stay like today, if I can learn to stand aside, if I miss that, you know, because I don't like to chase the market, right? If I miss that trade, I don't like, I don't want to chase the long. So that's the whole point of me not going long. If I miss it and it's like, wow, wow, it's really powerful. It's going up. But then the other side of me says, hey, what goes up must what? You said it, go down. So, and I know the market falls a lot harder down than it goes up when it does finally roll over and come down. So the profit is there. It's just a matter of, of being extremely patient and and having a little bit of luck too, I would say that's part of it too. And, and recognizing that that some of the things that you learned when you see them in the market, you need to you need to be Johnny on the spot and just jump on in. And and the hell or high water, you just take the shot at it. Um, was I lucky? Was it just the way it is? Uh, I don't know. I just know that that level, when we run it, 137.5 degree angle, when we do run the GAN signal on, in any given trading day, uh, more times than not, that's a great place to reverse the trade or at least find some form of a retracement. It could be a retracement off the short, coming back off the long, and it could be a retracement off of the long so you can get some of that on the short so um, finding what can be a temporary top at that point is kind of the way I, I look at it like I said I'm not saying 6477 is the end-all top of, of the market I'm not going to be never excuse me I'm never going to be that bold and claim that I know what the top is I just see what looks like a top to me based upon past experiences and it, it could be the top or it could be just a temporary top you just never know it ends up either being a retracement trade or it ends up and like I said if I would have been able to hold this trade uh, and, and, and extra contracts or if I had lots of profit then maybe I would have handled it a little bit differently but I don't I'm sitting in the 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 two day hold I went down more than I wanted to go down on two trading days so I tried to limit myself to three trading opportunities which I almost did I believe I almost did that so um, I had one trade that I had five trades but of those five I had two that were enter 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 so I was like enter and then it went and then enter again, enter, enter. And then the fifth trade, which is actually was my third trade, was just Johnny come, come, whatever, you know, here, you know, um, I'm rolling the dice and hoping no, uh, and, and I'm hoping to get that point or it's that first roll and I'm looking to get the seven and 11 and not hit the two, three, 12. So every so often, like I say, the squirrel gets the nut. I don't know if I'm going to trade Friday or not at this point in time. I'm certainly not trading Monday because we're not allowed in the funded account. We got a message from the trading performance coaches and, and all that that we, at the risk of losing our funded account, do not trade from 5 p.m. Uh, Friday Central Standard Time through 
5 p.m. Monday. So basically, don't you can trade Friday in the normal session, but you cannot trade, you know, the rest. You can't trade early Sunday and you can't trade Monday. Basically, you know what I mean. You can't trade till Tuesday of next week. So in other words, honor the U.S. holiday, the Martin Luther King Day in the market. Do not trade the Monday. Come back in Tuesday. I might just take a long weekend after the beating that I took this week. Um, this week I had two winning days and two losing days, but my losing days were a lot, were, were more than I should have taken. So, um, <clears throat> back to the drawing board, keep working hard, keep trying to do my best. I, I definitely have, have read everyone's um, comments and feedback, but I kind of looked over them very briefly because honestly, I don't want to see negative stuff when I'm trying to get my act back together. So um, I appreciate the feedback that I did see. Um, thank you. And I appreciate you know, being in my corner, uh, hey, you know, same old, same old, trading is not easy, anybody can do it, but it's not easy, right, it's not easy, we all have losing days, we all have losing streaks, we all get pumped up and feel invincible, and then we all get beaten down and feel inferior, it's a matter of, of, of keep on going at it right I decided to keep going at it and since zero lines no longer applicable I can I can trade below the zero I still had a full trading loss available to me I decided to keep moving and try to move forward and not taking my my gains maybe I reached my I plateaued my my bottom here at 249 uh, 248 and change is what it ended up being uh, 248 and change was, was is the bottom right now and I finished uh, I think around 290 and change today so after the commission cost I was able to pull away about 50 60 bucks I think is what it ends up being that's about it that's all I got to talk about today um, God bless take care I'll see you on the next video that I put together I'm just, I'm thankful that I lived to fight another day, right? I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.